Welcome guys to Supercars of London and I'm back in my first supercar, the Audi R8. And um, it's the unfortunate time that I have to fill it up for the first time. So we're heading to a petrol station. My computer on the, the Audi says I've got 20 miles left, which means that I've got about one. Um, so I'm praying that um, we can get to the, get to the fuel stop and um, and my bank card takes the uh, the payment as well because I have no idea how many liters this car is. Um, I'm I'm just known for filming them. I don't know any sort of details about. All I know is this is a 4.2 liter engine, but I know it doesn't hold 4.2 liters of fuel. <laughs> how many people are guessing <laughs> that this car was going into the petrol station? I would if I'd seen an Audi. Right? What's, I don't even know what side it's on. Uh, there we go, on this side. Ah, oh, stop! <laughs> How embarrassing. Into the fuel stop and I stall. Now, Audi, Audi and Lamborghini are owned by the same people, so there must be a button somewhere. Literally, have no idea. There's too many buttons in this Audi. Aha, petrol button, petrol button. I found a petrol button, turn the engine off. Hope that no one hits a car. Petrol button. <laughs> Sounds like a cat. It's off. I think what's supposed to happen. Good old. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I've just broken the button. <laughs> How have I managed that? Looks like we're all filming up, filling up. Shit. <laughs> so. We can't fill up because I've broken the button which um, opens the fuel cap, which means we're gonna be doing some very, very slow miles to SB Race Engineering where hopefully they'll be able to <laughs> do something about it because I cannot believe that 20 miles of fuel. Now I'm starting to feel nervous. 20 miles in fuel in a supercar isn't, um, many miles in the real world so the fuel lights come on and now I'm creeping I'm creeping at 20 miles an hour in fourth gear trying to um, trying to make it back to SB we've just gone on the phone um, and I think it might be a case of doing a few runs to the petrol station and uh, filling it up back at SB race engineer and this is an absolute nightmare Am I going to need to carry a screwdriver around with me? What? To get this open? No, I'll give you that. I'll give you this. Oh, yes. We're now leaving SB... Oh. <laughs> leaving SB Race Engineering with a tool. If you guys can see that, it looks like um, a nail file. Or something like that but I'm sure it's got a mechanical term as well um, so round two I'm gonna have to go to a, um, a different fuel stop which is a, a bit closer because I really don't want to run out of fuel with the petrol light on on my Vauxhall Astra the light went on and then would flash when I was really low I'm not sure what the system is on the Audis um, but just having the petrol light on in a car like this is um, enough for you to run out. So let's slowly creep to a petrol station. 
So we're pulling into a Tesco petrol station, the closest one to SB Race. Um, we made it, thank God. This video is a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. I was just going to film me doing my first fuel stop and it's turned into some sort of absolute fiasco. Um, but as with everything with supercars uh, and German supercars as well, you um, it's not just a straightforward, nothing straightforward in this. Fingers crossed. Oh, what? Whoa! No. Oh, no. some grease wherever it is that pay it, uh, at kiosk. Let's watch this go up. Let's see if my bank likes me now. Oh. There we go guys, the first fuel stop in the Audi R8. Much more eventful as I was uh, expecting, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, um, and of course follow my journey on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, because um, there's a hell of a lot more videos to come. So cheers guys for now, enjoy.